Hey guys, welcome to my channel and great PRTG network monitoring course. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can install and prepare your server to install PRTG network monitoring in your production environment. So this video included in four parts. The fourth part is how PRTG functioning in our production network. And the second part, we're going to talk about PRTG system requirements. I mean, PRTG software installation and hardware requirements for PRTG and how you can prepare your network to install PRTG. And the third part, I'm going to talk about how you can install a virtual machine and prepare that virtual machine for installing PRTG. And the last part, of course, is going to be installing PRTG network monitoring in your production server. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on notification, like the video to get every new update. So stay tuned and let's get started. A standard setup of PRTG network monitor consists of two components, the core server and the local probe. When you download and install PRTG, both of these are installed at that time on the same machine. The first part, the core server is the heart of your PRTG system. It is included the configuration, user interface, user and access management, the database, reporting, alerting, and other central management functions. The main monitoring is performed by the second part, the local probe. PRTG sensor on this local probe communicate with the devices in your network to perform the actual monitoring by sending out queries and receiving the result. The monitoring results are then forwarded to the core server for analysis, processing, and storage. So for example, if you have a ping sensor, it is the local probe that sends out the ping, receive the reply, and forward the result to the core server for analysis. In order to reach remote network or network that are protected by a firewall, you can extend the reach of PRTG by adding additional probes to your setup. These additional probes are then called remote probes. Sensors on the remote probes communicate with the devices in the remote location. Then the monitoring results are related to the central core server. All of the monitoring traffic remains inside the remote location and only the results are sent to the core server. This reduces the amount of monitoring traffic between your server and your remote locations. The connection between a remote probe in the core server can be established through a firewall and can even be performed over the public internet since the connection is encrypted. So using a secure internet connection encrypted with SSL, you can integrate your company's branch offices into your central PRTG monitoring setup from anywhere in the world. All communication is initiated by the probe on a single port. So you only need to open one incoming port at your PRTG core server location. If your core server is heavily loaded, you can also use remote probes. To offload the server, you can move sensor from the local probe onto a remote probes so that the monitoring queries are performed by a more lightly loaded server rather than by the core server. It's recommended that you run the PRTG core server as well as all remote probes directly on 64-bit PC or server hardware on Windows Server 2019, Windows 10, or Windows Server 2012. .NET Framework 4.7.2 or later must be installed on your system. There are many parameters that influence the performance and stability of PRTG. But for the vast majority of PRTG users, the following season recommendation for the hardware of the PRTG servers work fine. And as you can see, this screen will give you clear information about PRTG system requirement. If you need 1000 sensor for 100 devices, you need PRTG 1000 license, which it need 2 CPU cores, 3 GB of RAM, and of course 215 GB for disk space. And it's recommended that you stay below 30 active users account. And again, PRTG general recommendation is stay below 30 remote props. And you can install it on virtualization platform or you can install it on PRTG platform and it's supported PRTG cluster. 
And again here for this number of sensor, you must install PRTG 2500 license and you will need five gigabyte. And this is different with the above mentioned here. And again, for disk space, you need 500 gigabyte. And again, it's recommended that you stay below 30 active users account. And this is the rest of information here. And for PRTG 5000, you need one terabyte. And this is information and actually it is not recommended that you use PRTG cluster, which I'm going to tell you about these marks. I mean, this exclamator and this OK. And again, for the last one, which is XL or the newest one, which is X5, you can install on this virtual machine, which is eight CPU cores and 16 gigabyte of RAM. And actually it's not recommended to install it on virtual platform. PRTG cluster is not supported on this version. Actually, Pestlers, which is the owner of PRTG software, they have their own reason why you shouldn't install this license on a virtual platform. And of course, you will need one gigabyte network interface adapter for each installation. And here are, we have the icon, this one, which is OK. That means it's supported. And this is, is not recommended. And this one, which is bold exclamation mark, it actually not officially supported. You should contact PRTG pre-sales team. And notice that most PRTG users have 10 sensors per device on average. So for example, a thousand sensor license is enough to monitor 100 devices in most cases. If you exceed any of these recommendations, you should contact Passalers.com or PRTG website. And PRTG is going to install on this operating system as a core server or prop service, which I'm going to demonstrate it later on. And we have another section for core service and prop service and how to scaling out PRTG software. It is recommended that you install it on 64-bit operating system, which is going to be Microsoft Windows Server 2019 and Windows Server 2016 and the rest. On Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2, you have to install the required .NET version manually. And keep in mind, if you need 64-bit installation, you should have at least 6 GB of RAM for your server. And notice that Windows servers in core mode or minimal server interface are not supported. And for PRTG web interface, we should have Google Chrome 74 or later, which is recommended. This is the best option for PRTG web interface. The second one is Firefox 65 or later and Microsoft Internet Explorer 11. The other browser may not be able to access the web UI at all. And for PRTG desktop app, you can install it on Windows 10, 8, 7, Service Pack 1 or Windows Server 2012 or 2 and Windows Server 2016 or on a specified Mac OS as you can see. PRTG desktop application is the tool that helps you that you monitor your server like web UI. It's the Windows based application. And you can access your PRTG server by mobile apps for your Android or iOS devices. So the requirements for monitoring devices. SNMP monitoring. The monitor devices must be equipped with SNMP version 1, 2C or version 3. SNMP must be enabled on the device and the machine running PRTG must be allowed to access to the SNMP interface. Windows WMI monitoring which is known as Windows management instrumentation. And you need a Windows host PC and client PC with Windows OS as we saw it before. Please do not use Windows Vista or Windows Server 2008 on host PC for WMI monitoring. Both have WMI performance issues. NetFlow, IPFix, SFlow, JFlow monitoring. The device must be configured to send NetFlow version 5 or 9 or IPFix, SFlow version 5 and JFlow version 5 data packet to the machine running a PRTG Pro. And the last one is packet sniffing. Only data packets passing the network card of the local machine can be analyzed. Switches with so-called monitoring ports are necessary for network-wide monitoring in switch networks. And for PRTG architecture, we have core server and probe. Core server is the central part of PRTG installation and includes data storage, web server, 
report engine, a notification system, and more. The core server is configured as a Windows service that permanently runs. And the prop server is the part of PRTG that perform the actual monitoring. There are local probes, remote probes, and cluster probes in PRT. All data monitoring is forwarded to the central core server by prop server. Probes are configured as a Windows service that permanently run. And PRTG general recommendation is to stay below 30 remote props on a PRTG core server. PRTG still scales well up to 60 probes as long as you have less than 100 sensors per probe. And here in Pestlers.com, you can see the license here. PRTG 500, PRTG 1000, PRTG 2500 license and the rest of them. And here you can see XL and XL5 which is for enterprise network. You have unlimited sensors here. And if you have a large network and you want to distribute several core servers, you should use XL5 license. Here you can specify the month and the price with the maintenance and you can purchase that license. And here we are on vCenter server to installing virtual machine for deploying PRTG server. Simply we'll right click on the ES6i that you want and we'll click new virtual machine. I know most of you as a network engineer have experience to work on with the virtualization platform, something like Hyper-V or VMware vSphere. And I highly recommend you that you don't escape this lesson because it's very important and there is some tips for increasing performance on PRTG virtual machine. So we'll select custom here and we'll hit next. We'll give it a name. Let's say PRTG1 and next. And here we'll specify the data store that you want. We will leave it the latest virtual machine and next. And here we'll select the Windows Server Threshold 64 bit that you can install 2016 or 2019. In ESXi 6.5 or above, you have the option that you can install 2016 and 2019. Next. And here we will specify the virtual CPU that you want. And for RAM, keep in mind that you should increase it to 6 GB at least if you want to take advantage of 64 PRTG installation. Less than 6 GB is going to be installed at the 32 bit installation. But at least we need 6 GB of RAM to install it as 64 bit installation. This is the first point that you should keep in mind. Next, and here we will specify the network adapter and we will leave the default for iSCSI controller. And here we will create a new virtual disk. We will select next. We should specify the Windows partition here. And here we can specify the first disk for PRTG installation. So I should mention that for a big network, you should install PRTG on a second drive. The first one is going to be the Windows partition and the second for PRTG network installation database. So the first one is going to be the best option for us. Do not use thin provision because you will face the low performance on thin provisioning for databases. So the first choice is going to be best for databases or something like this. And here we can specify which data store that you want. We'll select this data store. And next, and here is the default advanced option. And here we'll edit the virtual machine before we continue in installation. So we'll remove floppy drive. So here we have one disk for Windows in installation. We'll add the second one. let's say 100 gigabyte for databases, which later on I'm going to tell you how we can move default installation, which is on C partition to another drive. PRTG will install hold the configuration and the database on your C partition. And for a small and medium network, that would be okay. But if you have a big network or in the case of running out of disk space, is the best option that you can transfer the databases to another partition. That is going to be the great option for you. Next and finish. 
So here in the first disk, we will install Windows Server 2019. Later on, I will tell you how we can transfer the database to the second location. And here is for option, keep in mind that for memory and CPU plug, you should enable these two options. In the case of running out of memory or CPU, you can increase it in hot plug mode. This is the great option that you can increase the CPU or memory while the virtual machine is power on. Now here we are on Windows Server 2019 for installing PRTG network monitoring tool. Here you can see I already installed Windows Server 2019 data center version and you can install it on a standard edition. Here we have free to download, you can download it and you have unlimited version of PRTG for 30 days. That's great for practicing this course with the trial version and we have 30 days that we can practice the whole course with this 30 days unlimited version of PRTG. And after 13 days, it reverts to a free version. That's great. And here in product, download PRTG, or you can click on free download to download PRTG. So that's great. So it will point you to your license name and the license key. This is the trial for 30 days accessing PRTG on your lab or your production environment. And we'll click on download PRTG. So we will wait for finish downloading PRTG software. So when we finish download PRTG software, we'll go to download, download folder. We'll select the language. You can select whatever language that you want. And here we'll accept the terms agreement and next. And here's we need the email address for installing PRTG. You can add a group of emails here for receiving notification. Next. Actually, it's contact Preseller License Server to check the free license that is available or not. And as you can see, it checked the license and it's continued to install the software. It takes about less than five minutes to install PRTG with embedded SQL Server that you can easily install it on your production environment. Now, as you can see, we finished installing PRTG. Let's block sending notification for the first time. And this guy will tell you how you can change the password or accessing SSL encryption for PRTG monitoring tool. And the first time PRTG added the sensor for probe device, which is PRTG server. And it will scan your subnet here and discover those servers. And it will add at least ping sensor to discover availability for that servers or whatever devices. That's great. So after done in installation, we should fix these two notifications. Set a secure password. We'll click on change default password. Of course, you can go to setup and in your account and my account and change the password. That's great. And here we'll specify new password. The old password, which is going to be the same with username. So we'll change the password and confirm it. Let's close this box to see the save bottom here. And again, we can enable SSL encryption for the PRTG website here. And here we'll hit save. That's great. The password has been changed. So as you can see, we have the latest version, which is 19.4.53. This is the latest version that you can install. We'll click on install to download the latest version. It takes time actually to download the latest version. And if you want to use PRTG on internet, I strongly recommend you that you use SSL certificate for accessing this PRTG monitoring tool from the internet. So we'll go to setup and system administrator, user interface. We'll scroll down to web server and here 
will select secure HTTPS server recommended mandatory for internet access. And you can use the security method here, high security TLS or TLS version 1.2 or weekend security. The default one is going to be a good option. And here it tells you you will be disconnected for a few minutes. We'll click on OK. So as you can see, we can access our PRTG server by HTTPS, which is security socket layer. We'll click on advance and, and process to the unsafe version. And now you can use your SSL certificate to install it on your PRTG server to actually security in accessing your PRTG server from the internet. So we will wait for PRTG server to initiate its uh, prop device here. So here we can see the sensor back again with HTTP access. And in today's lesson, we learned how we can install PRTG network monitoring tool. Thanks for watching.